Well, hello. I know you're accustomed to getting this uh, missive on Thursday, but today I am coming to you because uh, I'm excited about some wonderful things. Now, let me say, first of all, I will be, the Lord willing, at the Upper Room Church of God in Christ right here Thursday night teaching the Word of the Lord. And I'm going to show you, friends, that you are vital to the God of the Bible. And I'm here to, to declare that when the enemy, the devil in any form comes against you, he is coming against someone who is vital to the Lord, whom the Lord has a special love for, and whom the God of the Bible will fight for according to the scriptures. Even in the spirit realm, the Lord knows how to send angels and give them assignments to protect the people of God. And when the devil comes against us, the, the God of the Bible knows how to raise up a standard against him and to cause the enemy to flee. So you are not at the devil's mercy. You are not at the mercy of the weather, of the times, of the mores in which we live, in the society in which we live. Listen, you are a child of the king and the God of the Bible is alive and well and he's moving on our behalf. Today I'm headed to Richmond, Virginia. I'm going to uh, gather with some mighty saints of God, the Douglas Leadership Institute, going to be there with Keverick McCain and uh, great men of God like Brother Keverick and Brother Dean Johnson and so many others, Sister Alveda King Bishop uh, Vincent Matthews is going to be speaking at New Deliverance Evangelistic Center, Church of God in Christ, Bishop Gerald Glenn. We are coming together to put our heads together today and tomorrow. Uh, we, are, we are fighting for the unborn. We're doing everything that we can to save uh, lives. There is a slaughter taking place in this country. And yes, we're involved, we're, we're at the clinics, we're on the streets, we're, we're at times in Washington, D.C., talking with congressmen and senators, we, we preach from the pulpit. Yes, we do all of these things, and we meet with like-minded people to strategize, to encourage one another, and to continue to fight this good fight of faith. Yours truly will be on a panel uh, tomorrow between 9 uh, 15 a.m. and 11, and the panelists will be yours truly, Bishop Matthews, Bishop Darrell Husband, Brian Fisher, Catherine Davis, a mighty woman of God, the Reverend uh, Travis Witt uh, will be there, and we're having, it's going to be a powerful discussion coming together, discuss, discussing things that we can do, uh, uh, leading in local churches, uh, discussing what the local churches can do to fight this good fight of faith. I pray that all churches are, uh, are, are becoming, among other things, life churches. Many times when you go on uh, uh, YouTube and, and, and you see churches when they feature their praise breaks and the people go to shouting and dancing and praising the Lord, and I think it's a wonderful thing. But listen, we got, we, in addition, to being a church that has a powerful praise break, in addition to being a church with a powerful Sunday school department, powerful preaching and teaching, listen, you gotta be a life church. You gotta be one of those churches that speaks to the slaughter of the unborn. Pastors, you gotta do it. Uh, African Americans who are watching this, it is a matter of the survival of our race. These are interesting times in which we live. On one hand, the constant message that's being told to us is uh, abort, 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 abort. While at the same time, people are being brought in legally and illegally from other countries. Uh, repatriating, changing uh, the population of our nation. But the thing that, that this one group, this one group of people, we, African Americans, we're encouraged to abort our children. We're encouraged to practice behaviors that does not uh, give life, the growth of the LBGT, the growth of perversion, the growth of this stuff. Put the two together. Abortion kills uh, babies before they're born. Perversion keeps babies from being born altogether because life doesn't come from those unions. And, uh, and when you put it together and then you see the violence and all these the other things, listen, churches, we've got to say something. 
Pastors, we got to say something. We've got to sound the alarm. We've got to let people know what's going on. And uh, this, this conference with the, uh, uh, the, the Douglas uh, Institute, um, Douglas Leadership Institute, uh, ad addresses these issues. So we will be in place tomorrow night. Great things are happening. Uh, Gary, I probably wasn't supposed to tell him about this, but my projectors are being uh, installed as I speak. You know, I told you we've got some big projects going on here at the church, and uh, one of them is we're doing an upgrade on our projectors, and I was out in the sanctuary this morning and looking at the new ones. They're here, uh, and they're paid for. <laughs> and they are being installed. So hopefully uh, the first uh, 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 portion of the installment will be done. We have new screens, just different things that we're doing to make the house of God better. I love you. I thank you for your prayers. I thank you for your support. Meet me here at the Upper Room Church of God in Christ tomorrow night. As you can tell, I'm fired up. One of the reasons I'm so fired up, I got to close, but we just come out of this awesome women's weekend. The conference was amazing. Again, my hats off to my lovely wife and the women's department of the Upper Room Church of God in Christ for doing such a great job. Uh, evangelist Frances Kelly, Mother Frances Kelly. We're going to be airing her, 85 years of age. Oh, she preached and closed out the women's weekend with a bang. First Lady Valerie Quick was awesome at the uh, luncheon last Saturday. And last Friday night, my wife preached the word of God with power and authority. The panelists did a super job Saturday during the luncheon. It was amazing. We had over 430 plus, maybe 450 women out Saturday for the luncheon, and I, I was one of the, uh, they called me up to be a part of uh, one of the panels, and I'll be honest with you, I was nervous. I was more nervous to get up and be a part of the panel and speak to all those ladies than I was to preach in St. Louis before thousands uh, there at the convocation. The women of God are special, they're precious. Again, hats off to you. Keep up the good work, and we will see you here at the Upper Room Church of God in Christ for Bible study. Yeah, Bible study. I'm not advertising a concert. I'm not advertising a carnival. I'm not advertising a hot dog sale. We're not talking about chicken dinners and fish sandwiches. I'm talking about Bible study. Yes, Bible study. We're talking about Bible study. Bible study. Come out to Bible study. Bless you.